Okay. Remember how I did a tour of my craft room the other day? Well, this is my dining area. Yes, my dining area. So there's my dining table, and I've kind of taken it over with my crafts, but in a good way, right? It matches. Now, don't be alarmed with that chair. My husband needs it because of his back. He doesn't like the ladder back chairs. Um, this is more comfortable for him. He's got a lot of um, back issues, so it's more comfortable. So we have that there. But this piece right here, it's a three piece, and it's got lights that run underneath there, lights up. And um, I got it for my anniversary, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, but I absolutely love it. It has a lot of storage and I'll show it up close. This um, bookshelf right here is like, you know, a yard sale find and it's all scratched up and, you know, scraped and the paint's coming off, but I absolutely love it that way. That is all Maggie Holmes, Maggie Holmes stuff. That's my Maggie Holmes bookshelf. And then this over here, the dark one on the left, is a bookcase that I got on Marketplace. And I absolutely love that too. So I'll walk in close so we could start and we'll start over here. Here we go, has a lot of doodads. You can see um, uh, all kinds of stuff. Ribbon, embossing glitter, paste, um, little miniature dishes that I keep there. A lot of the Bow Bunny glitter paste that I absolutely love. See, I'll let you see up close. Two trays that have miscellaneous beads and stuff. See, here we go. Things like this that I store in here. For Christmas, this is Christmas. And then, um, just, you know, embossing. These are the um, Artisan Powders by Prima. I've got a couple of those. Just, you know, miscellaneous stuff. My newer embossing. These are for Christmas and Halloween. Um, embossing colors. Real pretty little ribbon there. Um, this is a real beautiful ribbon that I bought the other day. Forgot where. That purple one too. New ribbon. Um, inks. And just real pretty stuff. I keep little doodads on here. More paste. I love that paste. Um, Dina Wakely paste. and Oh, Dilutions paste. And um, some other stuff, Dilutions and this um, Bray Reese. And then on the bottom we have all kinds of sequins and crushed glitter. And these are from the Dollar Spot at Target. And these are much coveted, the Heidi Swap. Um, it's really packed. I've got a lot of them. I have some in my craft room because I use them all the time. Oh, more stuff, more sequins, stuff from the dollar spot, more things. And then on the bottom, I made that little book. Um, I used uh, Prima uh, Memory Hardware little album and decorated it with Maggie Holmes stuff. Lucy stuff, because I'm Lucy, of course, and those are boxes filled with Christmas stuff. And then I use these baskets that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I use them to corral my ribbon. You can see the different color ribbon there. And then I've got another one on this side with more ribbons. There we go. And then you, I'll show you this piece. You couldn't see it in the shot um, from, the living, from the living room, but there it is. It's got three drawers in it. That first drawer is one large drawer, that second one is a large drawer, and that third drawer has three different sections. So what I store in that bottom drawer are the frames from Prima Marketing, a whole section of frames, a whole section of dark alpha, of large alphas, I mean alphas that are like three inches tall, big alphas are in there, and then I've got some, um, some paperwork in there. And that next one, Oh, you guys, it all holds sequins, all sequins and glitter, mostly sequins. And also um, it holds things that I've got from like Joann's, like um, beads, it has beads also. And that first one drawer is kind of like a catch-all. It's organized. It has little trays in it, but it is a catch-all for miscellaneous stuff. And then I usually use this for memory planning. Up here, you can see I've got my Heidi Swap stuff and my Franklin Planner hole punch there. 
And then I've got washi here, you know, washi and then ribbon. And these are, oops, almost dropped it, my phone. These are antique jars. They're real pretty. They're light blue. And then we go to this first shelf. And I've got some um, mini albums that I've made. Some of them are made with the uh, Memory Hardware Prima albums, like this one um, and that one and that one there and I'm a pug lover shout out to pugs everywhere and then um, this one I used one of the Jen Hadfield's collections that's the first collection I ever bought and I absolutely love Jen Hadfield from now on I just love that collection anything that she makes I buy now in fact I just ordered her latest and these are Project Life I got started with Becky Higgins way back in 2013. This is a four by four binder, as well as those up there. Those are from a long time ago, years ago. I didn't pay more than four bucks for each of those. And because to show everybody that I just don't use the memory hardware albums, this is one that I made and it's using envelopes. See? I mean, not envelopes, uh, paper bags using paper bags it's really cute and I followed I think her name is Helen Griffin from the United Kingdom I followed her blog and made that mm, I made this one memory hardware plus I added this as the you know oh, the thing to open this gatefold it's really pretty this is bow bunny and then more of those Becky Higgins project life boxes the small ones and then just the mini um, miscellaneous stuff up there and then we come over here and this shelf sorry it looks so large I can't step too far away from it but this is where I do Bible journaling so my Bible journaling stuff I do it here and these are some more albums this one I, I made using the um, Simple Stories um, Llama paper. Forgot what, what it's called exactly, but it's their llama paper. And I need to put a magnet there. And then this I used um, Bow Buddy Cottontail Collection. This is a beautiful collection. And this I used um, Memory Hardware, their 8x8 um, bo book. And, and of course did all kinds of fancy pages. Even though it's a book that you um, buy and then you just paint and um, in this case, I painted it white. You can still do all kinds of fancy, fancy things with the pages. And then back here is all a bunch of doodads that I have. You know, larger sequins, um, pearls of different colors, clothespins, just anything, buttons, anything that I can stick in these little jars. Um, that's what's back there. It's, it's kind of packed. And then Halloween. I love Halloween. This is a memory hardware album. This is a memory hardware album. This is my first Halloween book, and I love it. And um, this is another one. Oops, I have buttons there. This is another one, and it's got a spider right there. Let's see if you can see her right there. And then this is um, the other. Those weren't those album. Um, I think that is um, who? That's Stephen Duncan. For come on, it's on the tip of my tongue. Not Echo Park, Cartabella, Cartabella. And there it is. I love Stephen Duncan stuff. Here's another one that I made. And then you come across to this next next shelf and it is all Christmas stuff. And I mostly use this for, for December daily. So those top drawers are actually empty. Probably those two are empty and that one because I fill them up come December, you know, so I do my December daily right here. And like I said, um, it's lighted underneath. You can see the cord there a little bit. And I bring all my stuff. I also empty that first and second cubby and fill it with more December goodies. But for now, um, you know, miscellaneous washi right there. Oh, my Bible journaling washi is what it is. And then these are all kinds of... Um, like for the old machines, um, you know, for um, threads, thread used to be on these large, different kinds of um, spools. 
so keep them here and then this is um a gatefold christmas i think i made it last christmas or the weekend bef the the one before it's a country christmas by prima it's their paper it's beautiful i went to a workshop um where frank garcia was there um i live close to big mouth scrappers um it's outside of um it's in kaufman texas so i live near there and um, i went and got to attend a class with frank garcia i've got to pick a photo with him and i got to do his album it's real pretty and then these are some other ones that i've done i haven't put a cover on it that's an illustrated faith one and this is i forgot the name of it it's so popular everybody had this collection <laughs> i think it's great paper and then i made this one from scratch it's an eight by eight i made it it's beautiful on the inside using um, becky higgins paper this is the first one that i made it's an eight by eight used the becky higgins um paper um i made this one too this is made let's see if i can get it down this one's made using um, paper bags as well. See? It's got a lot of inserts. I could use it for a December daily one year if I don't buy a December daily because it's already here just waiting for me to to decorate and I kept the paper that I that I had with it. I think it's so pretty. It's uh, retro and so I love this collection. I forgot who makes it but I absolutely love it. And then I have another one that I did there. So that's what I've got here. And then what do I have in here? I have some old Project Life collections there. And then these are photos. They're organized by year, by month, or event. I just have to scrap them. And this one, what's in here? Mm, these are Christmas pads. Like I told you, this is like my Christmas station. So these are um, pads, all different um, miscellaneous Christmas pads. And um, two more of these. And then these I use for, these I don't want to put with my kitchen stuff because I use them for when I do watercoloring. Um, more photos. It's miscellaneous stuff there. And then my bookshelf. My Maggie Holmes bookshelf. Let's see if I can get over here. This is coming off. So this one using, of course, I think that's the carousel collection. Maybe wrong, but there it is. And I use one of those domes. And then this is using the gather collection. And in the back, I have the spools of the washi. And there we go. Spools of washi, and they're all tied together, the ones that belong together, um, with ribbon. And then these are frames, Maggie Holmes frames. And then all these are, oh my gosh, they're all the six by eights, all different kinds of her six by eight paper pads, and all kinds of um, ephemera and doodads that you know, she sells with her collections. It's all there, it's a lot of stuff, believe me. It is a lot. I can step back so you can see a little bit. And then these are all her collections, her most recent ones on top, and then they go down to her oldest ones on the bottom. And then I love that little drawer down there. Let's see if I can get down and show you what's in there. I have more stuff that don't fit up on top. So yes, I love Maggie Holmes. That's perfect for her stuff. In fact, I've outgrown it. I've got more stuff of hers, her recent stuff that's really not in there because it just doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> it's packed. Anyway, just wanted to give you that so that you know that not all my stuff is in my craft room. You know, not everything fits. And so um, I'm glad I have this piece here. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Bye.